Hi, I'm Peter Quintel with Denison Yachting. I'm here to give you a tour of Wine and Roses, a 2006 64 Hatteras motor yacht. Come on, let's take a look. As you board the vessel, you'll notice a protected aft deck dining area with seating for up to six people. And if you're docking in a tight quarters, you actually have a port side docking station for good visibility backing up. As you ascend up the flybridge uh, cockpit stairs, you'll notice to the aft part of the flybridge, you have your storage for your tender with the crane davit for launching and retrieving. Walking forward under the hard top, you have a massive dining area. Across from the dining is actually a wet bar with a barbecue sink and refrigerator. Continuing forward towards the helm station, you'll notice the upgraded pomponet seats and then your control station. To the port side, you have access to your internal staircase, which leads down to the lower station, pilot house, and galley. If you notice up on the bow section, you have a large sun pad for lounging for up to three to four people. Now let's head inside and explore the interior. As you enter the salon of Wine and Roses, you'll notice the spacious beam really gives you a huge salon. To the starboard side, you have about a 12-foot sofa here, and what's concealed underneath is 30-bottle wine storage for the wine connoisseurs. To the port side, you actually have two opposing seats with ottomans. In the center, you have a high-low concealed TV, and then glass storage in here for your wine. In the details of the Hatteras quality, you'll notice this burl inlay flanked by the uh, cherry wood inlay as well on the cabinets, on the TV. Everything ties in very nicely with the tropical theme. Coming up from the salon and Wine and Roses, you only got three steps up to the galley and uh, set tea area. In the raised uh, galley area here, you've got the table, which is set up for large or small groups. As you notice, they carry the burl inlay in both sides of the table, as well as the lower salon. This way, it, has, it carries a tropical feel throughout the boat. Moving from the port side over to the starboard side, you'll notice the horseshoe-shaped galley here, which is quite nice. It's accented by granite countertops. Uh, very deep sink right here. You have sub-zero fridge freezers. Nice Wolf high-end appliance uh, cooktop here, uh, convection microwave, and even a uh, dishwasher. As you walk towards the helm, uh, you'll notice just to the starboard side, you actually have a pilot house door, which gives you access to the bow or your side boarding ladder. Moving forward at the helm, you have an upgraded stid helm seat which is in wonderful condition. You have your controls for your Caterpillar engines, Northstar 972, as well as a Furuno radar system. This boat is equipped with the American bow thrusters and stern thrusters, and to accent that, you actually have an optional yacht controller system so you can dock the boat from anywhere on board. Coming down the stairwell, you'll notice how wide it is. Coming in uh, directly across from the stairwell, enter into your third cabin slash office. This is a wonderful space for an owner operator that likes to work from his yacht. This area actually folds down if you have additional guests to a Pullman, so you can still functionally sleep with two people in this cabin. Coming out of the third cabin slash office, you have a stackable washer dryer right here to the starboard side. Inside this space, you have your day head slash guest head with separate shower. Just forward is the VIP cabin with ensuite head and shower. So just two steps down from the guest level, you're entering into the master cabin. This really takes up the beam of the boat. This is at the widest point of your boat. You're able to achieve a king size bed. Notice on the port and starboard sides, you have big closets with dressers and drawers. Just coming over here, you actually have your ensuite head with huge walk-in shower. 
Wine and Roses is actually equipped with three engine room access points. You have a electric opening through the cockpit bridge stairs. There is a hatch under the floor. And then you have direct transom access, which is the direction we're gonna go. As we enter from the transom, before we enter the engine room, there is a captain's quarter with head and shower. Entering into the engine space, you'll notice how much room is in here. She is powered with the Caterpillar 3412, 1400 horsepower each, which achieves your 24 knot cruise and 28 knot top speed. I really appreciate you taking the time to take a tour of Wine and Roses today. If you like more information or you'd like to set up an appointment, please feel free to contact me anytime.